All right, guys, first start in the 2001 Z06 with a key. So crazy. Here we go. And a clutch. Purrs like a kitten. Car's got 66,619 miles. First day of ownership, guys. First drive as a new owner of a 2001 Z06. Here we go. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. You guys are new to the channel. My name is Matt, and I just bought this 2001 Chevy Corvette Z06. driving all of a sudden all the gauges shut off and then it said reduced engine power fuel gauge shut off the uh, battery what? thing shut off literally I just sent you a picture of it I don't know I'm really confused too uh, I'm gonna try restarting it I just pulled over the shell let's see what happened I'm gonna try restarting it see if it'll first my uh, driver's side door the um, the windows and everything stopped working and then okay now all the gauges are working again that was weird and uh, so my door still is not working. So the, the door uh, mirrors and the, the door locks and that whole like control module there, uh, that stopped working like right when I got hey, out of the- grab, grab the, um, grab the rubber grommet that runs between the door and the frame and make sure something didn't get pinched in there wiggle it around. The, the grommet. Yeah, it's like a big tube. Yep, that did. Okay, so it must be a pinched wire in there. Okay, I'll um, I'll just pull, I'll pull it apart and just take a look at it then. All right, lots. Well, yeah, it sounds like it might have a pinched wire in there. Yeah. Um, and the other thing on the C5, some people do, like I said, if you look at that froggy, they go through and if they clean all of the grounds, because it's got like five different places where it has uh, electrical grounds. Okay. Because after being 20 years old, those things get dirty. Yeah, definitely. Uh, Scared me too. No, I mean, like literally everything just went haywire, and I was like, oh my god, no. All right, let's get a little pull for you guys. Boys, we 
got her home all safe and sound. First thing I want to do, guys, I want to get this thing cleaned up. You can see like in all the crevices and stuff, the door jams, everything is just pretty nasty. Even the inside is pretty nasty. You guys see on the inside here, needs a good vacuuming and all the door jams are pretty nasty. Let's go and open up the hood here. And again, under the hood, everything's pretty disgusting. So first thing I wanna do is get this thing cleaned up. But on the drive home, it did rain. So the paint looks kind of clean, but what we noticed is our headlights are not dropping down. So something else I gotta look into. Along with all these switches on the door panel here on the driver's side, for some reason they keep going in and out when you wiggle this little boot here. So I'm thinking it's got a loose wire or something. It actually caused the entire car to just go crazy. All my gauges went down, all the lights lit up like a Christmas tree. So we're gonna head down to the local car wash, grab the vacuum cleaner, vacuum the crap out of it. So one of the things I didn't check when I bought this car was I went through all the gears one through six But I didn't go into reverse and reverse is such a pain in this car first so second third fourth fifth sixth Reverse should be somewhere over there, but it won't go up This is sixth gear it wants to pull forward or fifth gear reverse is so hard first second third fourth fifth sixth Reverse reverse come on See, I'm going forward. All right, we're definitely getting a new shifter. Hopefully that fixes it. Hopefully that's the issue. If you guys know why it's not working or going to reverse, let me know. guys give her a little bath she looks much better black is like one of the hardest colors to keep clean so i can't wait to get this thing wrapped we're gonna go ahead and get her in the garage get the inside detailed now all right guys we got the interior all cleaned up well as best as i could do looks pretty good i think i am going to take it over to the guys at detail ground to get this thing like just spotless it's got so many like spider webs and everything in it so i'd like to get it nice and like clean cannot wait to have both of the vets in the garage have the c5 next to the c8 see like height differences width differences just to kind of compare them it's gonna be so cool some of the immediate plans for the car to go ahead and get it wrapped go ahead and get that rear diff leak taken care of get the shifter taken care of because it like kind of like doesn't return back to center. It kind of like stays where it's at and it doesn't want to go in first or reverse. So it's really hard to. So see if a new shifter will fix that. But tomorrow we're heading back over to Chevrolet to finish up the C8 or continue the C8. It's probably going to be a couple days. So we'll take the C5 over there, show it to Keith. But as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We'll see you guys tomorrow.